All right, so I guess today we're waxing philosophical about different types of waxes and the philosophies used when you're designing things out of wax. Uh, so let's talk about a couple of the different ways we build our models with wax, okay? Um, here we have a brown microcrystalline. Uh, it's a very flexible, castable sculpture wax. This is commonly used with like large-scale bronze castings. And then we have this green injection molded wax okay and that's used when you're making tons of copies of things um, it's a little more brittle you can see i can just break off little pieces of it um, it's not as fileable as the initial carving waxes but you can do some good cleanup work with it and then uh, we'll go over here we have the green block this is a high detail high brittle short viscous period wax. It's really great to work with. It's nice to machine. It's nice to file. But when you're carving, if you're not good with the pressure, you can see there's already a little fracture from this block just sitting in the toolbox. So you got to be careful because you can get that fine detail, but things break pretty quickly. And then you've got this blue wax. This is like the opposite of the green. In fact, it's it's hard, it's fileable, it's carvable, it's shapeable, but it's much more flexible and pliable. But when you go to heat it, you can get this high gloss finish and it'll be almost viscous. So you can create these large blobs as you bridge your material together. So over here, we have an example of what that looks like carved and flame polished. And you can see you get high gloss by just heating. So you can do all your carve work and then take, you know, a big lighter or an alcohol torch or uh, butane torch to it just to get it to high gloss and then there's the purple and uh, I don't know who chose the color aesthetics here but green very hard easy to file brittle right blue uh, very squishy long viscoelastic period and uh, probably the stretchiest of all the carvable waxes and purple is somehow between the two in terms of hardness and shaping so as far as a beginner's wax goes, I like it a lot because you can do stuff like this. You can get relatively thin, and if you break it, it's easy to repair. And if you want to flame polish it, you still can, but it's also carvable and fileable. So ultimately, when you're doing your design process, it's always good to decide which one you like. But if you've never done any, uh, you should try all of them at least once and see what works best for you. I mean, generally starting with the purple is a good starting point. And then if you find that you like to play with that hot and sticky kind of flowing state, you're going to find that the blue is more of a good fit for you. If you like a really clean, fine, machined or milled or hard lined, fileable um, precision level, uh, you'll like the green. Okay. And if you're not really sure or you see benefits to both, you're going to be living in that happy medium with purple. But um, for the rest of the videos, we're going to talk about how to work with each type of wax and design shapes and profiles. And then we'll get into the molding and uh, open face pour molding and the injection molding process as uh, things go further along. But I just wanted to show you a couple of samples of like what you could do with each piece of wax and where we're headed.